Welcome to Berna's vlog. The University of Alberta acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and the Métis homeland, and respects the histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. It's a pleasure to welcome Mike Meyer, who's the Associate Dean for Master's Program in Executive Education. Mike, is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, and so, as always with our vlogs, we ask our interviewee to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about themselves. Yeah, so I'm a proud U of A alumnus. Uh, I graduated in 2002 from the BCom program here at the U of A. Uh, ran off, did a PhD, came back uh, in 2008. Uh, and uh, have worked in faculty capacity. I was appointed associate dean in 2015. We started up the Master of Accounting program and several other things. Uh, and yeah, just really enjoyed uh, the executive education side as well uh, and working with adult learners and master students in the MBA program. So yeah. Perfect. So Mike, I got to know you through sort of executive education most recently as I was doing my ICDD yes. uh, yep. course, which, well, anyway, I got through it, which is good. Um, but Mike, you know, I had approached you about doing an executive education for our leaders in our organization. And one of the things that I noted when I came back uh, to the U of A was that we don't really have good succession planning. We don't really have, uh, we, don't ha we haven't put a lot of thought into leadership development for our own people. And so reached out to Mike and said, Mike, what about hosting and running the executive education program, which is an excellent program uh, that external communities know about. Why don't we do that for our own people? So mm -hmm. we started chatting and lo and behold, Mike, what's happening now? Yeah, so we are going to be launching uh, U Academy, which is going to be uh, an executive education program for the U of A. Uh, we used to have Gold College uh, several years back, that was discontinued, but we've been running several uh, programs that are customized for specific clients in the professional community as well as uh, Alberta Health Services. And we're very happy that we can now bring that expertise uh, to the U of A. Uh, so U Academy will be launching uh, and we'll be going forward with that. So tell us a little bit more about U Academy and when we talk about executive education, what exactly is that and what does it consist of? So we really look at developing uh, a leadership model that starts from within and extends outward. So we're starting with how do you lead yourself? Uh, how do you know uh, who you are as a leader? What are your gaps? How do you fill those gaps? And then how do you engage with others and lead them? So that's kind of the second stage that we go into. Uh, how do you engage others, uh, reach out to different communities uh, within the university here? And then finally, how do you achieve that systems transformation? I think that's the most powerful piece in many respects because we can now challenge some of those big problems that we face uh, as a university and society. So we do know that within talent management in HR, they are also developing uh, concurrently and in alignment with us, a uh, broader overarching leadership program for everybody in the university. And I know, Mike, you've had some discussions with Jane Sue and others. Can you tell us a little bit about that part? Yeah, so we've worked a little bit with uh, HR. We don't want to recreate what they're already doing. So this is a very distinct program. I think what distinguishes us from HR is we're really focusing on the integration piece, uh, focusing on that senior leaders and those that are aspiring to be senior leaders uh, within the university. And we're also getting to break the silos a little bit. So a lot of universities have this issue where you're dealing with academics, uh, people get labeled as academics and then non-academics and they don't talk the same language often. So what we're doing is we're taking uh, all those groups, thinking and getting people to think of themselves as leaders, and then going forward uh, and being able to interface and use common language across the institution. So I've always said that leadership uh, competencies doesn't need a title and that we should all as individuals, no matter who we are, what role we play, you know, leadership competencies are actually important for everyday living. 
And so I think that's part of what you'll be teaching. Um, the other thing is, is that for the start of the first cohort, which is going to be, I think, in June, June of this yeah. year, um, we're going to be starting with a smaller cohort. But tell us a bit about the numbers and how you're going to be organizing the cohort. Yeah, so we've accepted nominations for the first cohort uh, from various groups across campus. Everyone was allocated a certain number of seats. And then what we've done is we have a list of 28 students uh, or participants that we will be starting out with uh, for this first cohort. Um, we want to purposefully keep it a little bit smaller for the first uh, group, but our goal is to build it up to about 40 uh, on an ongoing basis uh, from across campus. So we'll have that group. Uh, there's five modules in it. We start in June, uh, we'll take summer off, and then uh, in September, we'll restart and finish the remaining four modules uh, and have our graduation in December. So these are up and coming leaders or, or leaders in our organization. Um, one of the things that's really impactful and you alluded to it are kind of the capstone projects or the action learning projects. And, like I said, you know, the 28 people are from all over the university. They're academics, non-academics, staff, um, you name it. They come from all different walks, all different parts of the organization. But tell us a little bit about the, why the capstone projects are important. So in the school of business, we're big believers in experiential learning. And leadership is something that you just can't learn from a book or get that head knowledge. It's really something that you have to practice every day. So the projects, we're calling them labs for learn, apply, and build. Uh, we're really wanting to take those uh, problems that the university might be facing or challenges and coming up with creative solutions to uh, approach those. And the nice thing is we've got people from across campus who are going to have a different perspective on things and they can bring that in, uh, their knowledge and expertise in uh, on how to approach that problem. So we're looking for jump shots, moon shots, and everything in between uh, when we approach uh, those labs. Wonderful. So we're very excited. Uh, first cohort is 28 uh, people. We won't call them guinea pigs, of course, no, Mike. No. Uh, this is a well-established program, but we really do look forward to the start of something that we hope will continue for years to come. Thank you so much for your partnership, for the interview, and thanks to all of you for listening. <laughs>